Hello, everybody. Happy Sunday. Welcome to the KCK Inspiring Moments with Kaylin Live podcast. I am your host, Kaylin Jean-Louis, and I hope you are having a marvelous Sunday. Just a friendly reminder to make sure that you continue to wear your mask, you continue to do safety measures, because while there are a number of diseases that are out in our world, I do just want everyone to stay safe, to stay healthy, and to be able to simply live the best life that they can live. Also, I want to thank every single person for tuning in. To those coming in, hello, hello. Thank you for joining me. I know you haven't seen me here on a Sunday in a while for the podcast, but I am glad to be here because we're going to be talking about a very exciting event that is coming up next weekend. We want to be able to share that. And I just wanted to make sure that everyone gets to hear about all that's going on in the community. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please put them in the chat while we are here tonight so that we can answer them or we just say hello so that we know you're here. And before that we dive deep, deep into today's discussion, I ask that you please share this video. If you're watching right now, share it with a friend, share it with a teenager, share it with someone you know who want to hear about an upcoming event in the community and who wants to just tune in because I think today's podcast is going to be amazing. Um, just to get right into it, I know that tonight, if you saw the flyer, we are talking about Lunch and Learn, an upcoming event that She Academy, the DeBolis Johnson Foundation, and Rickards Advent Program is hosting. Here with me tonight to give more details about the event is one of the coordinators, Miss Quay, also the founder of She Academy. But before we bring her in, I want to give you all a quick introduction of who she is. Miss Shaquaylin Shedrick better known as Miss Quay, was born and raised in Miami, Florida. She grew up with the support of her family and community. She graduated from Florida A&M University with a bachelor's degree in criminal justice and a minor in psychology. She also has a strong passion for teaching, encouraging, and supporting women of all ages, specifically adolescent young women. Though Through various life experiences throughout her teen years and various encounters, she has been able to stay involved in her community daily, and she is able to impact the lives of teen girls. She dreamed of a better support system, a stronger community, and a space where all women, all ages could find confidence in themselves. Thus, She Academy was born. The goal of She Academy is to set strong examples of hard work and dedication in order to inspire others to reach their goals and know that they have all they need within themselves to get where they want to be. It only takes a little practice, patience, rest, and self-discipline. Through her hard work at She Academy, Miss Quay is teaching girls and young women that nothing should stand in the way of your dreams. I believe Miss Quay is truly making a difference. So let's welcome her to the show. Welcome, Miss Quay. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Kayla. It sounds so sweet when you when you read it. <laughs> I like it. I'm honored. Yes, I'm really, really yeah. happy to be here. Thanks. So you. glad that you could come on. And you all, for those who don't know, actually, I think we met at an event where we're able to actually Wednesday was the first yes. time that we met in person. So shout out to Terrence L. Barber, one of Woo! our speakers. Mm -hmm. Yep, yes. that was the first time meeting. And I tell you, from the first time we met, she has supported all my endeavors. We go back and forth with the support, but I am just very excited to know you and to know She Academy and all of the great things that everyone is doing. So we're here. We're talking about Lunch and Learn. I'm going to let you go ahead and tell the audience what Lunch and Learn is about. So, guys, Lunch and Learn is coming to Tallahassee this upcoming Saturday. I see my partner in leadership in the comments. Uh, shout out to Zamoria, the DeBose Johnson Foundation, and of course, Richards Abbott 
for giving us the space to do this amazing event. It came about, hi, mommy. Oh, <laughs> it came about while Zamoria and I, we were just having a regular lunch meeting and she, you know, she talked about her dreams. I talked about my dreams and I'm like, okay, can we, you know, follow up? Can we do something? And she was like, hey, you have the vision, the energy. I have it too. And so now we're here just a short week away. And Lunch and Learn is honestly, if you don't know anything about myself or She Academy, exposure is the most important to us. And so by that, I mean exposing our youth to the resources around them. And so, yes, we put together this event, but we have a great number of um, community advocates that are coming in to just kind of talk a lot about their industry. And so it's a lunch and learn. You eat, you learn, you become inspired, you ask questions, you get involved. Shout out to our speed networking leaders. We call them SNLs. And so that is about six businesses. Some are entrepreneurs. Um, some are, you know, they work at credit unions or they're in marketing, they're in finance, they in mental health. So we have a bit of every genre that's coming out to inform and educate our students. And I'm really, really excited about it. I'm excited as well. I mean, I'm excited to attend and help you all a little bit with hosting the event because I believe that it's going to be great for all people who can come, especially it says in the comments right there, eight to 12th graders, we are encouraging you all to attend because it's not just an event where you're going to be sitting there getting educated and the normal spiel of people just talking to you. I believe it's going to be an event where you can truly learn some tips some skills to help you out to learn more about careers and just to be able to discover a little bit more about yourself while learning from other people. Absolutely. One of the biggest misconceptions I think right now is because it's at Rickards that a few students were discouraged or just didn't know, you know, if they were welcome because, oh, it's a, it's a Rickards event. All students from all private, public, um, virtual, not sure if that's still a thing, but all students in those grades between eighth and 12th grade, male and female, you do not only have to be female to participate. So we're almost at that mark well, almost to our max and registration ends on Thursday. So any eighth through 12th graders that that are here in Leon County are encouraged to participate. Yes, please, please, please take advantage of this resource. As she said, Ms. Quay, Ms. Zamoria Johnson, the Bolas Johnson Foundation and Rickards Advent Program, they have been able to put this event together. It's basically, in my opinion, I would say it's a bunch of resources in one to be able to hear from so many different people. So please make sure you come out. For those who don't know, this is going on next Saturday, September 17th. Mark your calendars. September 17th, it will be going on. It starts time. I don't want to get wrong. Yes, 10 a.m. 10 a.m. It ends at 3.30 p.m. And we are still welcoming volunteers. Um, I'm not sure if I sent that over to you guys, but volunteers are more than welcome to join us. You will find any of that information on any of our social media platforms. So Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, it's there. Volunteers are the ones that help us make this successful. So, yes. Yes, please, please volunteer. I mean, it's I'm like I'm, it's a good opportunity. It's also it's a community event, so we're it's gonna be something where you get to be able to feel. And I mean, I'm excited just to hear from all the people that will be there. I've seen the list of headliners of all the guests who are coming, and I think you have a big powerhouse. It's going to be a great event. I think so. Um, you know, our guest speakers. Terrence L. Barber, Marvin Boatman from Kingsman Club, and we also have Zanani Johnson. How do you, I mean, there are yeah. so many other people in the community to want to learn from, but I think for our target market, you know, they meet right in the middle, the topics of professional and personal development. These are things that you probably get to Zoom by in school, but 
this day is set out specifically for these topics. So they'll be guiding the students through their presentations and it's all interactive, it's in an auditorium. So there is no PowerPoint and you take notes and you follow, I'm pretty, pretty sure because all three of those names that I listed out, they all have high energy. They yes. all love this, you know, Mark, he used to be a teacher children like that's his avenue he works really well with students and the same thing with Zanani she's so close in age and very relatable and Terrence Terrence Barber has done this for years he did it well before you and I thought about doing it so you can imagine what that engagement looks like and I'm the most excited about that because they don't get this every day in school you know so this is that one time where you can fully become inspired, become equipped, and maybe for some students get that that first encounter of networking. Right. So most students don't know what that is. You know, they don't really know how to do so. And I think if they come with their questions, they'll definitely answer. So yes, I think it, I agree. I mean networking is important. I'm still every time I go to events, it's giving me more chances to communicate. Yeah. And so I mean if you are someone, if you're a teenager listening right now, you're like me, you want to learn new things, you want to get some new tips to help you when you're getting, especially if you're like me, you're getting ready for college, or you're getting ready to pursue higher education, you want to learn these skills, you want to learn these tips, because they will help you to be able to get into certain jobs. You never know, learning something at an event or taking time out of your Saturday next week to sit through that 10 a.m. to 3.30. It may seem long, but I promise you, I believe that there's going to be so many interactive things going on. It's not going to be just stationary. It's going to be moving. You're going to learn a lot and you're going to be able to truly learn and dine, have fun. You probably meet some people that you may know. You may see some 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 familiar faces. You might even meet new people and make new connections. It's just a good event to you know, when you said the stable part, I just want to use this time to give a special shout out to Temple Fit. Temple Fit will be in the building and they will be leading our exercise to keep us active, to, you know, Ooh. give us that good little energizer in between presentations. So I'm really excited about having them. This will be my first time meeting Temple Fit and allowing me to get, you know, involved. <laughs> just I just, just, just today going to Sam's, I said, Sam's beat me up bad. So I know I need to get active. <laughs> I know it's about that time. So I'm really looking forward to seeing them. And even like you mentioned with post-graduation, we have Career Source Capital Region coming out. And so most students don't even know that there are opportunities to take advantage of right now. They have a program that allows children, I want to say starting at age 14, to get work experience. And so they are one of our speed networkers who will come in and talk more about those opportunities. So some students may even leave Lunch and Learn with a potential job. That I'm super excited about. You know, we have some field workers. We have Tallahassee Police Department. We have the firefighters. We have people from all different avenues where it's just like hey i didn't know like i could be that you know sometimes you look at things on tv and it's like i could never you know imposter syndrome is something that comes over students a lot because of social media and so when zanani talks about that social media presence and you know how to fight that stigma how to find balance in your vision your goals and you know, identity all together. I want to give them too much. <laughs> I don't want to yes. give them too much. But I am truly excited because there are so many resources. I cannot stress enough. So many different conversations when you're paired in one group before another adult. You never know who in your group may ask that question that you lack the courage to ask. Right. So it's not only a time to learn from other people, but it's also to improve and develop those social skills. Because again, you never know who's in your group. So right. add that. This is a sneak peek, y'all. Y'all, we're here talking about it. It's giving you just a little taste of what's going on, of what's going to be happening and all of the things. For those who are listening, for those who are watching, Please click the link in the bio. Click the link in the comments. Go ahead and register. Don't be shy. Make sure you come to the lunch and learn. We want all people. It doesn't matter your skin color. It doesn't matter your age. It does not matter. We want you there. We want 
all the people that are in eighth and 12th grade, because we want every student to know that there's people. I mean, I think Tallahassee is a really great community because we have a lot of events that go on to help make the next generation, help my generation become greater and learn those resources to allow us to be the future of the world. So I think this is great. Everyone listening, again, make sure you go register. I am pretty sure as well that there, again, as she said, please, if you're looking for volunteer hours or you're trying to help, make sure you sign up to be a volunteer as well, because they do need help with setting up, making sure that they have people to run the event and allow the event to be successful. So please, please make sure that if you can volunteer, if you can attend, be there. This is an event that you do not want to miss. Yeah. And we have, we, you know, we offer those two shifts. And not only are the students eating, we're feeding our volunteers. <laughs> <laughs> so I know that's an important thing. Now, we do suggest you eat beforehand. But we will definitely take care of those who are helping us take care of our youth. So, again, there are two shifts. Feel inclined. I mean, if you want to spend all day with us, by any means, we welcome you. And we're a family. Um, but, yeah, volunteering is definitely going to help us get this, make it a serious transition. Yes, free food, fun, and lots of knowledge. Absolutely. Yes. It's going to be a great event. And I mean, as you said, the last day to register, Thursday. Mm -hmm. Make sure you keep that. Again, keep marking this date in your calendars. For those who may have just come in, share this video. We want people to be able to hear about this event and be able to talk about the Lunch and Learn. Now, I know when I introduced Miss Quay, I was talking about She Academy. I do want to give her the chance to tell the audience as well about She Academy because that organization is doing a lot in the community to help other young girls like me. So I'll give you the floor to share a little bit more about that as well. Thank you. So She Academy is a mentoring program for teenage girls in middle school and high school. And we're based here in Tallahassee, Florida. And so what most people don't realize is we all mentoring programs, they have something significant about them. And, and we operate on the school calendar. So while you guys are in school, we have our after school program, which meets Monday through Thursday from 3 to 6 p.m. Well, now 2.30 to 6 p.m. And in the summer, we have our summer program. So we do lots and lots of community involvement outside of those programs. And we host events that engage our youth, such as Lunch and Learn. Um, after school program, we do have spaces available. So if there are any students, any parents that are interested in getting your students involved, in the after school program, feel free to click that button on our website. You can find the application there. I'm very, very excited because this is our first year where we are partnering with Kaiser. And so Kaiser University will be coming in every single Tuesday to host our life skills and business workshops. We've never been able to do that. So I'm really, really excited about it. So even if you say, well, my student is so busy and I don't think I'll be able to listen. Tuesday is worth it. Tuesday is worth it. Um, and Thursdays, we have tutoring as well as community service that we offer to our students. So just another safe space, emphasis on the safe, where girls are able to just kind of let their hair down, build out new friendships, grow, defy, you know, their, those, that imposter syndrome we talked about earlier. So that's, that's us in a nutshell, a very safe space that is full of pink. OK, so at some point you will like the color pink because it's just kind of in our blood. All right. Y'all, y'all hear that? She Academy, if you're listening, if you are interested, if you're a parent, and you're interested in signing up one of your young daughters, go ahead and sign them up. I believe that Miss Quay is doing a lot. I mean, she's helping out and. I even, I know Quelo, Quelo's up in UF, but I know she started off with you. And I mean, just to see and look at some of the things that you did to kind of nurture her, help her to enhance her leadership skills, enhance who she was and who she is as she is no longer in Tallahassee. She's able to spread her wings and be able to use all those lessons she was taught to help other people. I mean, it's amazing. Congratulations to you. Congratulations to She Academy for all you do. Thank you. Yes, yes. I mean, 
Y'all, I mean, that's what tonight is about. We're just here. We're sharing upcoming event about Lunch and Learn. Again, make sure that it is Saturday, September 17th. Make sure that you are there. The registration links are in the comments. Make sure you register for that. And if you would like to volunteer, that link is there as well. Please, please make sure that you're doing that. But I mean, is there anything else that you kind of want to share to pull people into the event, Miss Clay? Yes. One more thing that I do want to make a mention of, because I know on our social media, we pointed out the 15th. So a few people got that date confused and thought the event was on the 15th. The last day to register is this Thursday, September 15th at 12 p.m. So at noon at lunchtime, that is when registration closes. The event is Saturday, September 17th from 10 to 3.30 p.m. Um, doors will open at 9.30 and volunteers are encouraged to registration, I believe, will close sometime on Friday for volunteers just to make sure that we have a head count. But again, this is an awesome event put together by She Academy, the DeBose Johnson Foundation, as well as the Rickards Abbott Program and our Lunch and Learn. We have we and I didn't mention this, but we have Kaiser showing up during our lunch for the demonstrations. And so great demonstrations, great, great community resources, advocates and amazing speakers. So it's not an event that you want your child to miss. Most times our events are specifically for girls in certain age groups. But this is an event open to both male and female and students in a wide range. So any students. 8th through 12th grade, you are more than welcome to join us on Saturday. Yes, yes, join us, join us, y'all. That is what we're talking about. So those listening, again, please make sure you share this. Make sure that others who are listening are aware of what's going on because this event is going to be very empowerful. Before we do get done, though, I do want to share another event that is coming up for KCK. If you do not know, again, Kaylin's Caring Connection. I am the executive director for that. And on November 12th, we have the Alzheimer's Walk coming up. Woo woo! Mm -hmm. Alzheimer's Walk, we're doing the Team Youth Care 2 movement. And so, as you know, last year I started that movement to be able to raise awareness for other youth caregivers. And last year we were able to raise $1,000 for the cause of ending Alzheimer's. So this year my goal is to have 100 youth out there walking with me and to raise $2,000. And so we're going to be advertising that up until November to talk about what's going on, to be able to share why we decide to walk You'll probably see lots of videos of me and my mom sharing our caregiving story because we do care for my grandmother who has Alzheimer's. She is 80 years old and we used to care for my great grandmother until she passed earlier this year. She also had Alzheimer's. And so we just want to raise awareness. Go purple. Make sure you're helping us out there. I will come back on another Sunday to give more details about that. But be on the lookout for that information. If you do want to join Team Youth Care 2, you can do that by going to my website, which is www.kaylinscaringconnection.com. And you can also choose to donate if you wish to help me reach my goal of $2,000. So thank you to those who are hearing about that. I am looking forward to seeing all your lovely faces out there with me on walk day. And remember, again, the reason why we are on tonight, the Lunch and Learn Saturday, September 17th from 10 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. That is all I have. I don't, I will allow us to, if you want to shout out ways people can follow you, Miss Clay, just to be able to be in the loop of all that's going on with this event and to stay in the loop with She Academy. Absolutely. So all of our platforms are She Academy Inc., all one word. So our Instagram is at She Academy Inc. On Facebook, you can find our page as well as our group, She Academy Inc., three separate words. Same thing for our LinkedIn. You can catch live updates about Lunch and Learn on our platforms the day of. And yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Well, for those listening, you can catch me on my website again at www kaylinscaringconnection.com. I also ask that you subscribe to the YouTube channel, which is the KCK Inspire Moments of Kaylin channel, and turn on your post notifications. I also ask that you follow me on Instagram at kaylincares15. 
Follow me on Facebook and LinkedIn at Kaylin's Caring Connection. And again, I want to thank every person who tuned in tonight. Without your support, I would not be here. And I just thank you for continuing to motivate me to make a difference in the community and to be able to come on and keep sharing inspirational moments. So I will, you will be seeing tomorrow my, the last um, radio show segment that we did that actually was on suicide prevention. And we were trying, we we're just raising awareness for it because September is Suicide Awareness Month. So make sure you tune into that tomorrow. It was very great, has a lot of resources, and it's very important that we start having that conversation in our community. So listen to that. And again, thank you for tuning in. We're going to get off and we will see you at the event. Goodbye. Bye.